Hello MGTOW This video is a quick reminder to stay safe out here um, and you know again it's a short video but I'm gonna break it down here in two parts number one is um, when you're on the road right when you're driving or whatever and you see a woman on the side of the road you know uh, and she's uh, changing a tire or whatever and especially if she if she's a good-looking woman or she's provocatively dressed you know m my suggestion to you is to keep going you know keep doing whatever it is that you were doing just keep driving down the road uh, it could be quite dangerous I remember I remember a story that came out in the newspaper you know years ago when I was a kid and it was about this this guy that pulled over to help a woman that was uh, you know supposedly trying to change the tire or whatever and uh, she was provocatively dressed in a nice red dress or whatever right and you know when he got out of his car and went over to help her two other guys came out of the bushes you know out of the side of the road they came out of the, the bushes and they held him up a gunpoint one guy held him up a gunpoint uh, while the other took his car right and and of course you know the the guy that was holding holding him up a gunpoint uh, ended up leaving uh, in the in the first car with the woman so I mean he was lucky to be alive right because uh, a lot worse you know could have happened but anyways um that's one thing the other the other thing is that um, you should never jump in a woman's car never jump in a woman's car uh, I, I know your father's been telling you this all your life you know but it's it's a matter of you know re re it's worth repeating it here never jump in a woman's car and nowadays you have many more reasons not to do it um, number one uh, she could be on some sort of medications right and the person that you're that you're speaking with is not you know it's not the, the actual the actual person right uh, when she's off those medications so that could be one thing um, but that's that's probably your safest bet um, what could also happen is that she's on medications but she's not taking them and that could be a hell of a nightmare for you you know you you, you happen to be walking like I was walking out of a Walmart earlier on today and I had my truck parked across the parking lot across from a Walmart as I was gonna deliver and I said let me walk over to the Walmart because I need the exercise or whatnot and you know but this country is designed so that people drive right now it's a shame but that's how it is you know cars take take uh, you know they have priority over, over people but anyways as I was walking out of the Walmart this woman in a pickup truck opens her door her driver's side door and and she says you know in a very nervous voice as, as if something really drastic and horrible was gonna happen to me uh, she says um, do you need a ride and I thought to myself fuck no I'm not getting in this woman's car you know so I started thinking you know why you know why wouldn't I get in her car right it's usually the opposite right they, they, they say that you know a woman should never get in a man's car right and but that's what it's gotten in, that's what it's gotten to guys it's, it's, it's become you know it's gotten to the point where it's so dangerous for a guy out here to to accept a, a ride from a woman that you know it's just not worth not worth doing it um, 
The other thing is that, you know, she could be driving around undiagnosed instead of taking medications or, you know, her being, you know, being diagnosed and not taking them. She could be walking around completely undiagnosed. And there are many people out there that are, you know, men and women that are, you know, unfortunately, because of, you know, because of one reason or another, right, uh, the, the way the tax money gets distributed or whatnot, they're walking around undiagnosed. Um, and there's a lot of, a lot of junk they put in the food nowadays, right, that makes people crazy. So, that's another reason. Uh, next, uh, a very, you know, very concrete reason why you should not go in her car is because maybe she's self-diagnosing, right? Maybe she knows she has a problem, but instead of going and seeing a, a you know, a, a, a certified medical professional that could help her out with that, uh, she decides that, you know, she's going to self-diagnose, right? And so she's taking illegal medications. And, you know, if you jump on her car, if she's ever stopped by the police for one reason or another, you know, maybe they've been watching her or maybe she just blew past a stop sign because she's distracted and nervous or whatever, you could be easily involved in her filth. So it's not advisable. And the last reason, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty obvious to, to many of you, you know, with what's been going on with the Me Too movement and everything. Uh, she could accuse you of sexual harassment, right? She could accuse you of sexual harassment. Or even worse, she could accuse you, you know, falsely accuse you of rape, right? And it becomes, it all becomes hearsay, right? Uh, but you're guilty in the court of law, you're, you know, against a woman, you're guilty until proven innocent. So never jump in a woman's car. And don't say that nobody ever told you. Anyways, uh, McDowell, thank you for watching. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Share and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.